Hi guys, UK Star Wars again. Um, just thought I'd do a quick video showcasing my new custom and or look. Um, he's on a um, SH Figure Arts speeder bike at the moment. The exclusive set that came with the Biker Scout. Um, I had this in mind for a while as soon as I've seen the Endor um, Hasbro Black Series look, um, this guy. Um, the accessories is really what I purchased this figure for. Um, I did know that they um, fit quite well in the SH Figure Arts Episode 6 Jedi Knight look. So um, I picked that up, um, did some minor custom customization to the to the helmet. Um, it's on my Instagram. Um, also, um, photos um, in detail of, of what I did to this guy. I'll quickly run through it now. Um, I just did some weathering on the helmet, um, some silver weathering, also a little bit of dirt wash on there. Um, I replaced the chin strap um, as the one that was attached was a, a firm plastic and it wasn't quite long enough to go around the um, the head. And it did look a bit tight on the Hasbro version, but I just wanted um, to give give it a bit more of a real, real look and. It's made from a, a dark brown fake leather effect material. I just cut a thin um, piece of it, super glued it on one side and um, the other side just tucks in, which gives the desired effect. So yeah, looks pretty good. The poncho um, was really dark camo in um, a lot of the areas, which wasn't really screen accurate. Um, at the price point you pay for the Hasbro figures, you can't really argue with them not getting the camel right and stuff. The poncho itself and the way the hood and the material lies and stuff is really well done. So I was happy with that anyway. I just used a little bit of um, very, very light green um, just to tone the camo down in uh, a lot of the areas. Um, looks a lot better in my opinion, a bit more screen accurate. Um, but the figure overall, um, in my opinion now, um, just looks like the ultimate end or look. Um, I don't want to say it because it's not really on the level of Hot Toys, but it, it is better than um, most 112 scale, um, you know, figures and stuff. And it is up there with the quality, um, but it's it's obviously not the Hot Toys level, but it just reminds me of uh, a 116 scale figure rather than a 112. Um, look at the way it does. His, um, lightsaber got a bit of a um dirt wash on there because i remember reading that the prop was filthy that uh mark hamill was using so i dirty that up using the hot toys um version is reference um i don't know if you can see that there yet um sorry about the shaky camera i'm not using a tripod for this video i'm just freehanding it so i could get a full um 360 view of the of the figure and the bike and stuff um but yeah i'm really happy with this i'm gonna to have to create a, an end or display now i think i do have another one of these sets um with the um the bike scout so i may have um luke um being you know head to head with the the bike scout um in the display I'm not too sure yet um but yeah this 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 speeder bike is a really good version um the Hasbro version for the, the price point is excellent. Um, the Bandai model kit version is really good. Um, I'm not too keen on the figure that comes with the Bandai model kit, um, but the speeder bike itself is really good if you want to use, you know, a figure arts or um, a Hasbro figure on there, um, just to mix it up a little bit. But this figure arts version um, is probably the best in my opinion. It is quite hard to get hold of and can be pricey, but it is worth it, um, you know, for me personally, I, I feel it is worth it. It's a, it's a very premium quality um, item. The front part, um, some people say it's it's not uh, screen accurate um, or long enough um, or, you know, different things. But for what it is um, in a 112 scale, I think it's fine. Um, it's pretty perfect. Quite a lot of detail on there. Um, moving parts on the handlebars and stuff for the pistons 
there's some good reviews of the figure watch speeder bike online on youtube and stuff so i'm not going to go through that um but yeah it was just to give you guys a look um at luke actually on the the speeder itself so yeah any questions or comments um drop them down below um if you would be so kind to give a like for the video and subscribe to my channel i'm still um, uploading more content uh, i'm trying to get as much content uploaded as possible um one one video a day i'm aiming for just to, to you know to get everything I've, I've got at the moment on there and then it'll slow down maybe once um i haven't got any new customs or anything to um to make videos on but i'll still aim to get a video out a week um just so I've got something going. I'm going to be doing some how-to um, videos where I actually go through step-by-step step doing some customs rather than just showing a, a custom and talking through what I've done. So you'll be able to see exactly what steps I take, what paints I use, what methods I, I, I take to do things. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be helpful for anyone who wants to do some customizing. Um, it won't all be just you know from scratch or painting and things like that. It, it may just be um head swaps body swaps um accessory swaps things that I, th I may think go well together and stuff like that so just to give some ideas out there to mix up and freshen up some displays so yeah um hopefully more content will be coming um over the weekend um i've got a few customs in the works still that are, are, are pretty much done so i'll probably be doing videos on them um so stay tuned Thanks again for all the support on Instagram and on YouTube. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.